Yo, how's it going? It is your boy Z Hut here with another video, and I am here to talk about uh, Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin, the thing that a lot of people are talking about because it has had quite the dip. Now, do I think this is the end of any sort of crypto? Probably not. It could always shoot back up. Don't look at it as all doom and gloom, but I see a lot of people spiraling over this. Um, and you never want to put everything into one investment because that's how you just set yourself up for financial ruin. I have invested in different things before. Um, usually I invest in things that are very solid that I know are real. Things like lumber, wheat, uh, gold, silver, uh, things that you could touch, things that are very tangible um, that, you know, are resources. And yeah, sometimes I do sell so stocks when there's a rise just so I can make some profit off of it. It's about trading. Um, it's not necessarily bad. I'm not going to show my portfolio uh, just for privacy's sake. But there's something very special about Bitcoin and crypto um, just because you cannot touch it. That is right. You cannot touch it. You cannot feel it. And the amount of rug pulling, um, especially since I did that video on Lana Rhodes and her crypto sis uh, investment that a lot of people felt screwed over by. I still have yet to look up the update on that situation, but from what I understand, she's deleted her Twitter account and then kind of dipped out. Um, so I'm sorry guys, but you did get tricked. If there is nothing else, um, that's going to come about that story, but I digress. The thing about Bitcoin, I kind of saw this coming from a mile away and um, to anybody who has taken a loss from this Bitcoin, I really, you know, my heart goes out to you. I know that taking an L like that is never easy emotionally. It's harder to come over than it is fiscally. I know depression could be horrible if you are going through that. But what I do really want to talk about is um, a principle about this Bitcoin. And it's something that I was taught growing up because... Um, I remember when I was a kid, I would always, as I was coming up, people would offer me these things that were so amazing that I just could not turn it down. And long behold, a lot of them didn't work out. And me, this naive kid, ended up getting um, rug pulled or scammed in some way. And when I came to my parents as a kid wondering what I did wrong, they gave me a lesson because I couldn't make a recover from the loss. And that's the let that the lesson is this: if something is too good to be true, it probably is. Now, in human history, we've never had someone become a billionaire off of crypto and then have access to all these sports cars without really producing anything or providing a service or being a CEO or starting their own business and creating their own income streams. Basically, you had some people invest in this thing that they were told to invest in, and it shot up 60,000 times its worth, and then it comes crashing down. It could go back up, maybe not, but this is a very highly volatile thing that we are experiencing. And it's not one of those things where it's going to be really good one day and then really bad the next yet, but these things take time, um, especially in trading markets, what I've realized Time tells all whether something's going to be a good investment or a bad investment. And in this age of instant gratification, not a lot of people stick around enough to see that they've made a bad investment or whatnot. But Bitcoin sounded so instantaneous that you had a lot of people buy into it. And that really shot up the price. A lot of people made a lot of money and now they have lost a lot of money. They might make it back, but it's a super volatile thing. And like I said, it, when you see someone become a Bitcoin billionaire and have all of this this money flow their way and they're living this lavish lifestyle over something that was created basically in a with energy in a computer that we can't touch, it seems like something out of a science fiction book. And sometimes to me, in my opinion, that's what it is. We are living science fiction and a lot of these things that are so good or too good to be true really aren't and they age very poorly and that's why one of the things i've gotten to because i'm coming at the end of my 20s is that you have to think long term how will this investment make me in five or ten years i know it's kind of weird like that 
but still, you know, a lot could happen in five and 10 years. Um, and thinking long term can really help this generation go a lot farther. And you know who you are. I see a lot of people who want things right here, right now. And if they don't get a result right away, they feel like it was a waste of time and they move on to the next thing. But nothing worth doing get happens overnight. Whether it's this YouTube channel or me learning how to code or me learning how to weld or me learn how to be a carpenter, you're not going to be able to do it in one day. And sometimes these investments take time. Uh, Bitcoin did take some time and it shot up for a really long time. But now that I'm seeing it go down and a lot of people are kind of getting nervous and panic selling and everything like that, all I have to say is just watch the market. If you feel like you should sell because you don't want to lose anything else, I mean, I don't know. I know how the anxiety of the crypto market can be, and that's why I never took part in it. But I've seen so many rug pull scams, dips, and just shoot ups that it's so volatile that I choose not to invest in it, or if I do... I'm probably going to wait till the timing's right, and then I'm probably going to sell before it dips again. Um, but overall, that's just my thoughts on this Bitcoin thing. Bitcoin is trending, so that's why I wanted to talk about this now, because I do want that algorithm to have you guys click on this video. I will admit that. But uh, thank you guys very much. And like I said again, because I know I rambled on, in conclusion, think long term. If something's too good to be true, it probably is. And anything worth doing or anything worth creating takes time. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. Best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.